Well, thank you to you guys. It's not easy to get to Polly on a Friday night at 8 o'clock in the traffic, so thank you for doing that. And I just really want to take a moment to thank our marketing staff. And uh, we had a great crowd and the people that came out. I thought, that, you know, we, when we hit some lulls, I thought, really thought our crowd was a huge piece. And um, it just really warms my heart how many little kids were here tonight and little girls that are um, looking up to these two and wanting to take pictures with them and are being inspired. And so for me, it, obviously, it's, uh, there's lots to talk about from the game, but really thankful for um, growing the game in Southern California. And that, that was really fun. Um, defense and rebounding, thank goodness for that because we didn't play very well offensively. I didn't think we played the kind of style that we should play and needed to play, especially when we got so many stops. Um, we should have been able to get our transition game going. I think we let the zone and late shots in the shot clock lull us to sleep a little bit, and we didn't play nearly as fast as I think we needed to play. So we're going to learn some things, but very thankful for our team's commitment and buy-in to defense and rebounding because that has proven to be our our anchor over and over again. No, I don't think it was the best defensive half, but I thought it was pretty solid. I thought Kelly was a really big part of that. You know, I think the way that she communicates in our zone, I think she helps people anticipate as opposed to react. And I thought she was a really key factor for us be getting those stops and being able to keep the ball out of Kristen Simon's hands. We said whatever team was able to keep the ball out of the paint better. And I think that really was the reality. And late in the game, we hit a lull and we were able to get inside, the ball inside to Monique and get the ball to the paint to get higher percentage shots and I think that was really key and I also thought Jordan's threes were came at very timely um, positions but I don't know if it was our best defensive game uh, maybe I'm never satisfied I don't know but I definitely think it was the thing that saved us lots I I didn't uh you know, I didn't think we played our best basketball tonight, and uh, I don't think it's going to come down. I told the team in the locker room Monday about scouting reports or, you know, anything like that. It's going to come down to hunger. How much do you want to get better? How much do you want to pursue special? How much do you want to truly be uncommon? Or do you just want to sort of go through the motions and say, we're pretty good? Or do we want to pursue greatness? Do we want to pursue that special habit that we only have one day prep? Maybe we can get five possessions better. And I really believe the team that comes to practice, um, for us, we're going to practice on Sunday and be ready with that kind of hunger. I think that we've got a big, a much larger ceiling. I don't really, I mean, I think we've been consistently getting better. I really love our consistency on the defensive end. I love our consistency in our rebounding. I think Tony talked about having momentum minimum on the rebounding side. We've been very dominant on the boards now for three straight games. Um, but offensively, I think we can get much more fluid. We need to do much more off the pass and the screen, less off the dribble. Um, but I, I think we have a lot more growing to do, which gets me very excited for March. Yeah. There you go. She's better. She's way more articulate than me. How much is that in your mind is controlling the pulse, controlling the tempo? There are things that Coach Corey talks about. Yeah, well, I mean, Coach Corey always talks about, um, like, doing what we can do, right? And, like, as a team, you can't control if your shots are falling. We can't always control, like, what the defense is doing. All we can control is, like, how we take care of the ball, how we're there for each other, how we set a screen to get somebody open. Um, those are all the little things that add up over time, and that's what we were able to do um, throughout the game. See, much better than me. <laughs> I mean, I thought the crowd was awesome tonight. Um, give them lots of credit. You know, it was a great outing. And, you know, the fans always give us energy. But I think we came out and we knew from the jump that we had to bring the intensity and the aggressiveness because we knew this was a very emotional game for both teams. Um, but the crowd just helped us with that. So. <laughs>
what she said. I think we can't be so stagnant, you know, when they went zone. I think that's when we didn't, you know, move the ball as well. And I think that was what caused us to get nine points is that we were we were just stagnant. We weren't moving the ball around. And obviously I had too many turnovers. And I think I was just over penetrating and not reading the defense well enough. And, you know, it starts with me. So uh, I got to do better in that. And we just have to continue to, you know, make sure we're passing the ball ball fakes. I know Coach Corey talked about that in the huddles is that we had the ball fake because we knew they were playing passing lanes. So just trying to be smart with the ball. Well, I think a big thing is that um, we need to not think about it as a hostile environment. We need to think about, you know, making it just our own home court like it's any other game. I think that we, the focus needs to be on us, and I would be the same any other time. Um, with, that, uh, you know, it's, I think that it can be, we love this rivalry. I'm not being very articulate again, but um, it's a privilege to be a part of it. We should be very grateful to be a part of one of the greatest rivalries in college sports. But we got to focus on us. We got to focus on getting five possessions better. We got to focus on our individual growth cards, our commitment cards, all the little things, like she said, because I truly believe it's like the inches. You go down there in the Galen Center, they're going to make adjustments. They're going to have a fighter's mentality. They, they are, I mean, I think they're really well coached. I think they're doing a great job with their personnel. And, you know, it's going to be, it's like I said before, it's going to be about hunger. Who wants it more? like to play against that so teams are going to feed off that energy that we bring so us as a team we can't worry about what the other team is focused on we have to focus on us um, and we're constantly talking about like the four letters across our chest our chest at the end of the day it's it's about us and how we're going to get better um, and that's all we can do and some games we come out a lot harder um, in other games we come out with a lull but at the end of the day we know that we have to keep staying true to ourselves which is rebounding and playing defense and for us that's that's who we are, and when we do that, that's how we are able to extend those leads or you know win games greater than other games. Um, so that's something that we're going to continue focusing on moving forward um, as a team. I think you're really early. Right. You're really early to these games. It's the next gym, it's the In the dark, you know, my teammates are going to want to come to me later on in the game, so that's what I've been working on. Coach, what can you describe the fact that you guys defensively were able to score on your own for 23 of 35 fouls? Like the, the quarter can you kind of describe that, that felt really difficult to have to play that way? I think the, the biggest reason is this one over here is Kelly. She brings that voice that we need um, in the zone. I mean, she's she's talking every possession, and it helps me, even though when she's playing the forward position, I hear her 24-7. And she just brings that energy that we need on the on the defensive end when we're in that 2-3 two, um, two, zone. And then just us being able to talk, I think that's the biggest thing, and being aggressive. We know we're in the zone. We could be a lot more aggressive, and um, that's what we try to do. Yeah, absolutely. We're actually not practicing tomorrow. We're going to take the day off tomorrow, and then we're going to practice Sunday actually down at USC. But we're trying to get back for the, for the Super Bowl. <clears throat> so we're having fun with that. And, you know, we want these young women to – I mean, it's a beautiful day in Southern California. And, and you know what? We have a pretty mature team. And so I can trust them with that, and I can also trust them to go have fun at the Super Bowl too. Who's rooting for the Patriots? Oh, uh, I'm rooting for the good commercials. <laughs> so <clears> – <throat> Mm -hmm. Talk about four years of UCLA and where you are now, and uh, kind of what, where everything is at. Uh, 
Uh, well, it's an honor and blessing to be recognized as one of the best players in the country. But honestly, it wouldn't happen without my teammates and the coaching staff and just everyone in the program that, you know, supported me throughout my four years, developing me as a woman and as a basketball player. Um, I wouldn't be where I am today without my, especially by my teammates past and present. Um, they put me in positions to be successful and um, same with Coach Corey and the coaching staff, you know, watching film, countless of hours of putting in work in the gym and um, just without them, I wouldn't be here. So I give a lot of credit to them. Both. Or a musician, or <laughs> own a you know, dog well, sitting company. I mean, she's got a lot of options. Well, basketball for now, mm. and mm -hmm. after basketball, we'll see where life takes me. But ultimately, I do want to go back to nursing school. So we'll see what the future holds. I do want to just great article about Jordan, and she gets a lot of publicity <laughs> and deservedly so. But anyone on our team would tell you that Kelly is our glue, and you know, Monique and Jordan rightfully so get a lot of attention, but. Day in and day out, she makes everybody better. She gathers the team. She has the respect. She's a voice. And, um, you know, I, I, I really always say to people all the time, they always want to talk about Jordan and Monique. And I go, you better include um, Kelly because without her, they don't get to do what they do. So her selflessness and leadership this year has been remarkable, and it's why I'm excited about where we're going moving forward.